So we're going to do two main things in total today. So the first will be to get data from our own backend. So we're going to send a message from our own server to the front end on an index.html file. In addition, we're going to be getting data from an API and posting it on our HTML page. So the first thing that we will be doing is installing some things. OK, so just open up your terminal like this and just write npm in it. So this is just initializing a package.json and just like that. OK, so right here you should be having a package.json. The next thing we'll want to do is install some things for our backend so we can connect the two. OK, so npm install express and Axios. We may not need Axios, but definitely just install the both just in case. OK, so just like that, install express and Axios. And that's it for our installations. You can just close it up. Close this as well. And let's make a new folder. We'll call it public. You can call it whatever you want. And in here, put index.html. So this will be our main HTML file that will display um, all the, the front end things. OK, and a quick hack. If you want to speed up the HTML like display, hit exclamation point, one of the one exclamation point and hit enter. This will post uh, this. This will post like the basics of an HTML file. This is how I do it. So you can try as well. And we're just going to name it uh, API fetching. All right. And um, let's just put H1, our own data. So this will be displaying our own data input type text and ID equal to input. And in here, button ID equals to button. And let's just close that. And just say get data and this is just the front end uh, I'm gonna be on a local host 3000 but just for now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like uh, this is how it's looking thus far and you know what? I'm gonna keep it open for now but just know it's gonna be changing very soon we're gonna have to uh, change some things up but that's totally fine for now okay so we have our own data now we have to make the data that we're gonna get from a uh, outside API so we're just gonna do the same thing we're going to call it uh, outside data and input just like that type equals to text and ID equals to input to this is very key ID can only be used on one thing. So make sure they're different. OK, or else you'll, you'll run into a couple of problems and then button just like that and ID equals to button two. I'll just name it the same thing. Looking great so far. And I'm just going to write the script script tag. This is where we're, where we're going to be writing our uh, front end JavaScript. But we're going to leave it empty for now. And we're going to start with the back end for our own uh, data to send to the front end. OK, so that's what we will be doing first. So all you got to do to create our server to send data from the back end to the front end is just to open up a new file called server.js. Again, it could be uh, whatever you want to call it. And in here we have to import some things. So firstly, we'll have to import express and uh, set it to app. So const express equals to require express. Then const app is equal to express. Awesome. Thus far, we've just imported express. Express is a server. It's a way to manage uh, our application on localhost and uh, make the process of like sending data much easier. The next thing we're going to have to do is uh, make our port. So this is where our application will be running. This could be any number you want, but I'm just going to put uh, 4000. Why not port 4000 and app dot listen port comma. Just like that, we're going to have to make a function and console.log listening on port. So we can actually test it out right now. So open up your terminal and put node server.js. And as you can see, it is working because it says listening on port. This it just says it, it means it's working. And if you want, you can actually go to localhost 4000 and it should be up and running as we can see here. Awesome job guys. So now that we have the port running, we have to display our HTML 
on our server on the local host because you guys can see here it's not displaying on the local host but it is displaying here so all we have to do is come over to here and just write app dot use express dot json this is just telling you that we have a json file coming and app dot use um, express dot static public but what's going on here is we're telling uh, the express app to look for a folder named public and display it and if we run node server again it's gonna display awesome guys awesome you guys are doing great um, this is this is actually really big for anyone that's never done this you just connected your front end to your back end server and it's it's great so far now all we have to do is send data and actually I'm gonna put this up here and okay so all we got to do now is send a message from our back end to our front end this will be our personal message first so what we're gonna do is write this okay app dot get slash message it could be just write slash message slash message comma request response this will be a function and just write response dot json message hello comma world and just uh, kill the terminal and run it once more okay so all we're doing here okay is we're telling express to get the message from localhost 4000 slash message and display the message of hello world so I'll just show you so if we go to 4000 slash um, message the data will show here so again we're telling JSON and express at slash message to display a JSON message called hello world I'm just gonna show you we can just write we can write anything in here so hello YouTube okay and if we just kill this and run it again hello YouTube so we're just posting the message on JSON at this uh, route. And now that we have it up, we're going to call it from our backend and post it into our front end. So to do that, to get our own data, we have to start with our JavaScript. And within the script tag, what we have to do is initialize the input and button and turn them into uh, event listeners and tell them what to do. So the first thing we have to do is um, initialize uh, input. So this will be our the first input. So input dot document dot get element by ID and input and then const button is equal to document dot get element by ID button. Okay. So if you're asking where I got these from, it's from the ID of button and input. Not these ones because these ones are button two and input two. This is input, so we're calling this exact one. This is why I said that you should be careful of not naming ID twice. It has to be uh, one uh, tag. Awesome, awesome. The next thing we have to do is make our function. So uh, what we want in this application is when we click get data, the message from our server, which is hello YouTube, displays in our input. And to do so, what we do is write const response oops, response API is equal to async E. This is an arrow tag. And the first thing we have to do is prevent default. And what, what this is doing is whenever we click on the button, we don't want the page to refresh. We don't want that to happen because everything will not work. So we're just telling it not to refresh. And the next thing we're going to do is make our response. So const response equals to await fetch. So we're fetching the API. So HTTP forward slash slash local host 4000 slash message. So here we're calling this page. We're calling this page and we're going to access the message within this page. So the next thing we're going to do is 
comma. We're going to open this and we're going to say method get. So this is just saying we're, we need to get data from this, this, uh, uh, this port. So now that we have that, exit the, uh, the tags and just write console.log response. So we're just logging the response. We're getting the data from the JSON response. And then we are input dot value is equal to data dot message. Awesome guys. So, so you may be a little bit confused. So I'm going to walk through what exactly we did here. Okay. The first thing we did was prevent a refresh whenever we click the button, then we're accessing the data that's within here. Then we're logging that data and then we're setting it to a uh, variable called data. And the most important part, Okay, is we're setting input dot value input dot value uh, input dot value as we saw here is just the value of input. So the value in here will be the message that is from the data. Okay, so the value that will be here when we click this button will be the message. So you see how we said data dot message. It's the message. So it will be hello YouTube. Okay. And we're not done yet. We just have a couple more things to do for this one. So now we, all we got to do left is just have an event listener for our button. So to, whenever we press this button, we want the data to show here. All we need to do to do that is just write button dot add event listener. Click. So whenever we click on the button, we're going to do response API. So whenever we click on this button, the ID that's button, as you see here, we're telling it that whenever we click run this. Okay. And as you will see right now, and all, all you gotta do is just refresh the node server and click get data. Okay. So I made a huge mistake here. I wasn't on localhost 4,000. So all you gotta do is go to localhost 4,000 and it should work now. As you guys could see, awesome. We got the data from our backend and we posted it on our front end. This is huge. So look, whenever we delete, this is great, man. It looks it is amazing. Great. So this is the first part. The next part will be getting data from an actual API outside of our own. So this is probably what you're going to be doing for the most part when you're making applications. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started with that. It's, it's mostly the same. So what we want to do is just um, close this and just get started. So we don't have to go to the back end. All we have to do now is do the same thing. Okay. So const, we're just going to do input two because we're accessing input two right here. And the same thing goes for button. So const button two equals to document dot get element by ID button two. The next thing we'll want to do is do const response is do const response API two. I'm just naming it like this because it's uh, it's easier to remember and easier to see asynchronous function and just open that bad boy up. And within here, it's kind of similar. Okay. We're doing const, oops, const res equals to await fetch. And instead of localhost, which is from our own server, we're going to be getting data from an API. I'm going to leave it empty for now, just so we can finish the rest. And again, just do a method get and outside of here just again console.log response const data equals to await if i could type response.json awesome looks good so far so now we're we're going to go to a site called um, json place holder this is just an example of uh, fake API. You can use an actual API, but I am just going to use this one for the sake of it. So if you just do here, you can see the data. So this is the URL that we want to access. Okay. So just copy this, post it on here, just like that. 
and and for the sake of the video we're gonna access um, the titles we want this to display in here when we press get data so to do that like we did earlier we're gonna do input dot input to dot value is equal to data dot title and what this is doing again is saying the value of input two input two is this is data which is this dot title so this okay and obviously we have to add our event listener so under here just write button two dot add event listener on click response api 2 and hopefully hopefully this should work make sure you're restarting your port and okay so my bad guys make sure you're refreshing the page i'm used to uh, i'm 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 used to auto reloading but um currently it's not working for some reason so now that we have everything everything should be working okay so get data awesome and get data let's go awesome guys so everything loaded this is how you connect back end to front end now in the future you may be using something way easier like react which makes fetching apis like infinitely easier you don't have to do all this connecting but you learned at a low level how to connect back end to front end by using node express and um, simple json parsing awesome guys i'm telling you if you were able to do this this is amazing if not it's okay just watch the video you'll end up getting it if you if you still don't get it uh, i'll leave the github repository in the description below and yeah guys um that has been the video if you get, if you like it please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video